Hey guys, so today I'll be making slow cooked red wine short ribs in a crock pot and I love these because they're really cheap, and they're really easy. You know, you just throw everything in the crock pot and go. Everybody loves crock pots. So let me show you what I have here. Here I've got a kilo or two pounds of beef short rib and these are really nice. And before I put them in the crock pot, I'm going to sear them in my pot. So we're gonna get started on that right now. So first, I'm gonna salt and pepper the ribs. That's a big one. Pepper. pinch of salt just want to rub that in you want to rub your meat together so everything is well seasoned. Now that I have my ribs seasoned, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, about that much butter. I'm going to turn it on to high. Now we add our meat, meat side down. This is the bone, meat side down. You want to sear it on all sides for about 30 seconds on each side. Time to take them out and transfer to your crock pot. this same pot, you want to add the following ingredients. So here I've got one medium onion and three garlic cloves diced. You want to add one cup of red wine. Two cups of water, so one, two, two beef cubes, beef stock cubes, one, two, two spoonfuls, two spoonfuls of brown sugar. Three spoonfuls of tomato paste. One spoonful of Worcestershire sauce. Can't pronounce that. How do you say it? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Tiny bit of salt and a tiny bit of pepper. Then you want to add about this much of fresh thyme and then you bring this up to a simmer for about 15 minutes on a low heat. So now it's been simmering for 15 minutes on a low heat and I just want to say that you don't have to do any of this steps. You can 
just go straight to putting everything in your crock pot and turning it on and going. But I like to sear my ribs and I like to do this extra step just to add a little bit of extra flavor. I think it's worth it, but if you don't want to, you totally don't have to. So now I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm gonna put this red wine mixture sauce into my crock pot over my ribs. I just want to make sure that it's covering my ribs. I'm going to put my lid on and I'm going to turn my crock pot on to high and I'm going to leave this for four hours. So after four hours, we'll come back and I'll show you guys how I'm going to serve it. So it's been four hours and our ribs are done. I have turned our crock pot off and let's see how they're looking. Careful, cause this will be hot. As you can see, they're very tender. flavor and now let's plate some up here I just made some of my famous mashed potatoes skin on mashed potatoes on top of our mashed potatoes. See how the bone just slid off? That's what you want. Some fresh thyme. Now here is our final result. Lovely, easy, and delicious.